Greetings. Mission accomplished. Your dreams are fulfilled. What is your mission on this planet? And what is it that you want to accomplish in this world? How would you like to celebrate your greatness? How would you like to celebrate your accomplishment? Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a psychological, esoteric, and metaphysical drama that has been played out in the Bible concerning the journey of life. And those of you who are familiar with the 66 books of magic, the Overcomers Bible, you'd realize that the last book in my Bible is the book of Chronicles. And so you have to give account for what you do with your life here. That's why the Chronicles have to do with your entire mission here and what you would have accomplished. And so when this drama has been played out, Many people who believe that the Bible is literal and secular history, they give all honor and glory to an entity outside of themselves, taking personification for persons and taking all the glory for history. But today, I'm going to dive into the 66 books of magic, the Overcomers Bible, and I'm going to share with you this story that I really love so much because for many, many years, it has ministered unto me in a very certain way. And so, I am speaking about Luke chapter 4, around verses 18. But I'm going to read the other verses for you. Okay? And many people are familiar with the temptation and the monk. But today, I'm going beyond the temptation of the monk. On the mount and show you after you would have conquered after you would have overcome there comes the celebration there comes the manifestation there comes the one who's operating as a true Israelite one who's ruling as a God one who would have found his creative power one would have found his prophetic insight and his prophetic powers also, which are actually his magical powers. And he's now using his wand and he's creating and being productive and living life on his own terms. That is why the 66 books of magic is the overcomer's Bible. It's for people who have overcome. So, as it states in the Bible, in Luke chapter 4, it shows you how your Christ self, the higher self, will defeat the devil and overcome all the temptations. And remember, the devil is your negative self. The, ne the, the negative programming that you receive from birth. And you have to face your devil and overcome your devil by having an escape plan. And that is why there are people like myself here on this planet to help to teach you how to implement this escape plan. Because after all, we are the ones who put this great psychological jammer together. Because we have always been the initiates. We have always been those mystics, those adepts who would have had certain experiences and these experiences were hidden, they were encoded, and now we are here to decode them to those who are willing to listen and apply them in their lives. So my brother and my sisters, without any further ado, I'm going to go into this book, which I would definitely encourage everyone to get this book, The Overcomer's Bible, the 66 books of magic, okay? And in this Bible, there is no Jesus. Jesus has been omitted and there's a blank space for you to write your name, which is I am. I am is the name of all of humanity and I am is the name of God. 
And you can never say, I am, and not referring to yourself. And remember, the universal question of life will always be, who am I? <laughs> and when the answer comes, it must always be, I am that I am. Which is to say, I am whatever I believe myself to be. For as a man thinketh in his heart, I subconscious mind, so is he. You can't escape it. Thoughts become things. Imagination is what creates reality. Everything was forced a thought. Everything was forced an idea. Everything was forced imagined. Okay, now I'm going to read from Luke chapter 4. And I'm going to read from verses 14. Now it would be page 456 in my Bible. Okay, the 66 books of magic. This is what it says here. And remember, this is giving you the account after the temptation on the mount. The, high, the highest place of fighting your mind battles and overcoming. Okay? You're overcoming from here. The monk, the highest place. Okay? So here it tells you, and I am. Other people's Bible say Jesus because they want to point them to look outside. I'm pointing you to look within. I am teaching you that this is your spiritual autobiography that must be interpreted psychologically. It's all about you. I am returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee. It is you who would return and come back to the place of your right mind when you conquer your negative mindset, when you conquer the ego, when you conquer the matrix system that wants to keep you bound and keep you limited, keep you programmed. Remember, anyone who can program you can definitely control you, okay? And there went all the fame of him through all the region round about. You become famous. You become known. Because you will be using your ability and using your creativity to inspire and uplift the rest of humanity. Because you overcome the devil, your lower self. Because you overcome your ego self. Because you overcome all the lies and all the chaps. That have been said in this world to distract you from discovering your higher self. So my brother, my sisters, it's all about you when you overcome. This is the next version of yourself or the next chapter, I should say, of your life. This one is teaching you here. This is teaching you this entire uh, chapter is teaching you of the journey of life. Okay, how you have to first face your storm, face your demons, face your devil and overcome. And then you're now playing out the next chapter of your life. I'm teaching you how to operate in the next chapter of your life. Verses 15. And he thought in their synagogues, being glorified of all. Being taught in their synagogue is not speaking of building made of hands. We know that God does not dwell in temples made of hands. The synagogue here represent, or uh, it just symbolize where the intelligence dwells and where we would gather. We all gather in consciousness. We all gather under one power. So it is speaking about the body of man where you would minister unto your brothers and your sisters by your intelligence, by your wisdom, because you are speaking as an overcomer, and as an overcomer, you are a witness. You have experienced St. John chapter 3, the born again experience, the birth from the skull, the virgin birth. Okay, so you're speaking from experience. That's why I know that the story of Joseph, Joseph and Jesus and Mary. It's not a literal story, my brother and my sisters, okay? Verses 16. And he came to Nazareth. Can any good thing come out of Nazareth? Uh, out of Galilee, I think. Oh, okay. But Nazareth is a, a low place, okay? It's a place where many people would doubt. Is a place where 
you have to face those who wouldn't believe what you are saying because you born and grew up in that place and so in life when those who you came up with in the same environment when you have a shift in your life and you start seeing the, the world from a different angle and you're trying to share it with them do not believe you okay so you find yourself in a scornful place whereby they, they, they will scan you okay you think you're crazy and you lost your mind you say where he had been brought up and as his custom was he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. Now, in any civilization, there will all be certain customs. And so there are certain customs that everyone follows. And so in life, you will come to realize that these customs are actually paradigms. And they will keep you in a box therefore in order to show your brothers and your sisters that they must break these paradigms you have to find a way to reach out to them and that way to reach out to them would mean that you have to become a student first of all of what you are teaching because when you speak here about the Sabbath day, it is speaking about coming into rest. It is speaking about you creating and manifesting. And you see your manifestation and you say it is good because it's the end of creation. And so when you understand the Genesis story to be the creation story of the science of alchemy, where you transmute energy into matter because you understand that everything is energy, vibration, and frequency, then you will understand that it is only when you come into Sabbath or come into rest or become a conscious creator and you manifest your life in a certain way that you should speak to those around you and those who you grew up around because a prophet has no honor except in the own land or country where he born and grew up okay so that is why many a times you get disappointed by your friends and your family members who you who you thought would have accept your newfound wisdom or understanding not to know that they will laugh at you and go against you okay that is why when you find that imagination will create reality you have to use it to help yourself to build yourself and you become a doer and let your results speak first then you can always speak after okay let your results speak so he went into the cigar synagogue on the sabbath day okay and stood up to read this is when you can come before your people as i said before this is when you should present yourself as what an example so you become what you are actually teaching that's what that's what i should be saying verse 17 and there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet isaiah now when it comes to the reading of the book it is speaking of the book of life every one of us here is actually the living book and we've been given the written book and we are the fulfillment of the book some are the fulfillment from the negative side and some are the fulfillment from the positive side it's all the law of polarity the law of opposite always taking place and that is why you must have that kind of understanding before you can present yourself before those who would go against you acting in your purpose acting in your calling because you will come to realize 
the fulfillment of your dream. You come to realize that you are here on a mission. And this is the accomplishment of your mission to minister unto your brothers and your sisters to make your life a service to all of humanity, to serve and to uplift the rest of humanity using your ability, using your creativity, though some will not agree with you. Okay? And when he had opened, so the book of the prophet, before I go on here, so the book of the prophet is teaching you that there is a side of you that is prophetic. There's a side of you that can see the future. A side of you who can see 40, 50, 100 years from now. It's like you have vision. Like for example, right now we live in an information age and many people are still chopping themselves in the industrial and the agricultural age. That's how far back people are. And just recently in 2020, they gave many an opportunity to free themselves and they say no i'm gonna remain faithful to my slave master because i have i have loans and i have mortgages and they they, they, they they choose to remain in an industrial age instead of freeing themselves so that they can vibrate into the age of information and educate and equip themselves so that they can exchange information for transaction of the medium of exchange that we use on this planet okay so let me read back verses 17 and there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet isaiah and when he had opened the book he found the place where it is written you are the one who found the place where it is written to know that you have a purpose to know that you have a calling to know that you have a different fingerprint than anyone else to know that there is a lot of contribution and you can ask yourself what have you been contributing to understand the law of giving and receiving you've been told that the law of compensation must operate on a certain basis he said give and it will come back to you good measure press down shaken together running over shall men give into your bosom and you must learn to live by the golden rule of life the golden rule of life is to do unto others as you'll have them do unto you. So, when you open this book, you found the place where it is written of you. That is why I would have had certain experiences. I show you how to open the book and see where it has been written of you by giving you that blank space and removing the idol Jesus for you to write your name and proclaim that your name is in the book of life because the central character of the Bible is man's imagination and you are a creative and imaginative being. Verses 18. And then, okay, so he found the place where it was written and verses 18, now he says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. The spirit or the energy of self-knowledge. The Lord here is speaking of your I amness, your self-knowledge, your self-awareness. It been infused. You become more aware. You start to ask yourself, what are you doing with your life? You start to search yourself and realize that your life worth more and you need to accomplish more in your life okay he said because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor you've been appointed to do a job you've been appointed to reach out to the poor and the poor is any and everyone who does not have the particular skill or the particular gift or talent than you so they need you that's why we are interdependent and we need each other so i might be rich in one way in terms of finding my purpose and acting in my purpose but yet i might be poor in another way and i need your help because there's something you can do that i can do and there's something i can do that you can't do 
So we here we are here to meet each other needs. So he say here to preach the gospel to the poor. The gospel is basically the good spell, the good news that self realization is true salvation. Because everyone here on this planet is seeking to know who they are. You, 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 everything that you do in life, you're looking for purpose. You, 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 you're seeking identity. And I'm telling you that your real identity is actually your divinity. So, my brother, my sisters, the gospel is not a message of doubt and guilt and shame and fear. And all of these things that the clergy or the preachers want you to believe. You see, as I said earlier on, anyone that you can program, you can control. And many people are afraid of death. So if you program a people to fear death, and they fail to realize that they are eternal, they fail to realize that they are God in flesh, they fail to realize that they are infinite, being and that they are a spirit having a human experience they will spend the rest of their life thinking that they are a human trying to be spiritual and so they would remain poor and so they need the good news the good news of salvation which is self-realization he said he had sent me to heal the broken-hearted to preach deliverance to the captive and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. Here it is showing you that you are here to solve problems. You are here to meet others' needs. And so we are living in a world where many are broken hearted, whereby many have been bruised physically, emotionally, socially, in every way. All of these things that is mentioned here that comes out of fear many people have to face these things and there are those of us who must realize that we've been sent to bring healing onto this bring healing on this planet to others that is why we cannot teach them the bible on one level when they are vibrating on three levels because you are physical, you are psychological, and you are spiritual. You are a triune being. That's why you must understand the Bible from the basis of the Trinity. And so you must understand the Bible metaphysically or esoterically, psychologically. You must understand it that way. And do not think that it is literal and secular history and speaking about people who existed thousands of years ago. All of that is mental slavery. You have to break that kind of slavery. So, you've been sent here to bring healing to this planet. And so sad to, to, to say that even the Bible says that the rich rule it over the poor and that the borrower is a slave to the lender. How could you help if you are, you are in poverty and you are in mediocrity? How could you help if you are living in doubt? and fear, and guilt, and shame, and condemnation, and you have no self-love, you have self-hate. Because that is what secular Christianity is doing to the masses, that is looking outwardly instead of looking inwardly. So he has sent me to heal the broken hearted, to preach deliverance to the captive, and recover our sight to the blind. Many people are blind in every way. They are psychologically blind, they are spiritually blind. And right now they're in a zombie apocalypse. They are blind, they're naked, they're wretched, and they don't even know it. Because why? They're being self-righteous. They, they, they're allowing their ego self to take control of them. They're living life in a backward way. That's why the devil is life being in a backward way, spelled in a backward way. So you live backwards and recovering our sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised so my brother my sisters 
what good will it do that you live your life here yeah, and you live your life as if you're living in a dog eat dog world in a rat race world and that's what they did they make you believe that this is a a a, 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 a life of competition it's a, a a rat race and so you seek and after all of the things that you think would give you some sort of gratification some things that you think will make you feel better about yourself yet you never acquire any self-love you never have the right concept of yourself and so my brother my sisters that's the reason why a few rule many and we could have seen clearly in 2020 with the pandemic how low many were ready to stoop because they find themselves in a human zoo and just as how they would, they would train animals in a zoo and reward them based on their behavior so we see the system had the people and many people up to this day still haven't wake up as yet they believe that okay well everything gone back to to to, to normal no because why they haven't found their purpose they haven't found the calling they, they are wandering souls on the planet as i always say many people live in their life where they just eat sleep shit and repeat and then they open their mouth and they speak a lot of shit really just shit being being superstitious and always trying to condemn to can always trying to condemn the world and they're not producing anything in the world lame let me go on verses 20 and to okay let me go back to 19 to preach it uh sorry let me go from 18 and come back down the spirit of the lord is upon me because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised to preach the acceptable year of the lord the acceptable year of discovering your i amness this is your year this is your day this is your time to wake up this is your opportunity to wake up if you're here listen to me this is your opportunity to wake up because you are already on the right path you didn't you didn't get here by coincidence you get here because you've been searching and you've been seeking to, to know the truth and i'm saying that the truth is within you i'm pointing you to look within yourself i'm saying to you that real salvation is self-realization therefore you've been given a choice so it is up to you if you want to doubt or you want to believe it is up to you if you want to live in doubt or you want to live unfair or you want to live in love because love is the most powerful thing there is that's why i always encourage you to love yourself and believe in yourself and embrace in yourself and to have don't just have a, a, a short attention span you know some people can't listen to videos that are long you know TikTok and all of these things are out there to program people though i use TikTok, i use TikTok to inspire you but not just to give you a short piece of thing and uh, give you that quick gratification and then you just stay right there no sir it's more than that so people need to become more committed and everybody looking for, for, for a fast fix when every one of us have to go through a process of growth from a child to an adult. Okay, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Yeah, every moment of your life eh, is the opportunity for you to preach or to teach the acceptable year of your I amness, of accepting yourself and believing yourself and embracing yourself. Not somebody outside of yourself. Not an entity outside of yourself. And he closed the book. So you're the one who will open the book and close the book. You're the one who received the cosmic light. Out of millions and millions of sperm. You've been chosen. You're the begotten son. And you are that bird. You've been expressed here. Because when you, when you came here, you find yourself have to face your devils. Which is actually your circumstances which are actually your effects because everything is cause and effect you're the one who's creating them so you have to face your devils you have to face uh your demons your pharaohs whichever whichever name 
you, you want to call your circumstances, okay, which are actually the effects, okay, and you are the cause. You have to face all of these things from the moment you open the book. Because when you open the book and you've been expressed here, you came over in a state of amnesia, state of forgetfulness. That is why, as I said before, I end my Bible with Chronicles. There must come a time when you must wake up and learn to think for yourself. You have to break the program. And he gave it again to the minister. They give you certain teaching. And you have to come and overcome that those kind of teachings that you receive from your parents and, and, and your religious authorities and, and political authorities and your, your teachers in school and so on. And you have to unlearn and relearn and learn to reprogram your subconscious mind. That is why you're told that you can only be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So you have to break conformity. So, he, so and he gave it again. And he closed the book and he gave it again to the minister and sat down. It is teaching you that you are the open and closed book. So you will become the living book, reading the written book. And you could realize that you can open and close it because the seals have been broken of your life. You learn about the chakras and you learn about your energy centers and you learn about energy vibration and frequency and you learn that your real identity is your divinity you learn to look within and you discover the kingdom of creativity and you can use that creativity for the upliftment and the advancement of all of humanity then your life have meaning then your life what living then when you wake up in the morning you're excited because you have something to wake up for most people wake up and all they're thinking is, is going to the job i'm not saying you shouldn't go to a job but your life is more than that you you walk not just to earn but you walk to learn so learn from the job you're doing so one day you have your own one day you'll be on your own boss, you'll be your own boss. One day you live life on your own time. You can go on a vacation whenever you, you feel like. You can travel the world. You can do all of these things because we have a power that is within us to do that. And all of us have been given a gift. Use your gift. I'm not saying everybody in the world is going to be an employee. Ah, they, always, they would all be employer and employee. Okay. I always say that there's someone would have to street sweep the streets but it doesn't have to be you if you've been informed and you've been made more aware then you use it or you would lose it okay and he closed the book and he gave it again to the minister and sat down and the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him you see all of us live in a body and many people will look at you because you will grab their attention by the life that you are you're pushing forth. You grab their attention by the things you are doing in your community, by the things you are doing in society, because you refuse to get caught up in the rat race, and you know that you know money is not real. You know that the real money is cosmic money, and you tap into your real currency, and you use your inner currency to generate that outer currency okay and you use that medium of exchange and because you understand alchemy you can seek to have as much money as possible because you're going to use it to help the rest of humanity you're going to use it to widen your scope in terms of the desires and the things that you always wanted to do in this world. You want to do it. So when it's time for you to leave, you would leave being satisfied and you have to leave an unfinished work here. So you would not get attached to these things. That is why attachment is the root of our suffering. These material things is for us to enjoy, not for us to get attached to. Okay? He said, and the eyes of all them that were in the singer were fast on him. And he began to say unto them, this day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. You are the one who will come to say, this is the time. 
I've seen the fulfillment of my deeds and my goals. I remember when I write this down. I remember when I visualize this. I remember when I use my imagination for this. I remember. I remember when. And you're the one who said, this did the scripture fulfill in your ears. You know that you're the fulfillment of scripture. You know that you have a prophetic side of your being. You come to know who you are. You come to know how powerful you are. And you're bearing the witness of this book. <laughs> and you're saying, this day, this is the day. And I'm saying to you, this day is your day. This time is your time. This hour is your hour. It's all about you. Let me just read uh, 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 this last verse here. Verse 22. And all bear him witness. All bear him witness because why? Results don't tell lie. Let your life be a witness because they will see. Let your light so shine before the world. Why is your light? Is, 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 is your creativity? Is your ability? I'm not trying to convince people and the fear that they're going to some hell if they don't be like you and they don't believe like you. No, sir, it's not that. And I'll be a witness and wonder at the gracious word which proceeded out of his mouth. Here he's speaking about wisdom, knowledge, understanding, awareness. And they said, is not this Joseph's son? It means they know where you grew up. They know where, where you came from. They, they know your suffering. They know your pain. They know you came from a, a, maybe a poor background. They know what your background was, was like. Now they're seeing you in a different light. Now they're seeing you as a savior. Now they're seeing you as a, 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 a bringer of good news. You're bringing good news to them. You're speaking about the law of assumption. You're speaking about the law of attraction. You're teaching people how they can better their life. You're teaching people how to motivate themselves. You're inspiring people. It's the greatest feeling you can get in this world when you can inspire and uplift people. When you can change people's life by bringing what? Good news to them. Let them know that there is hope. Let them know, hey, you're not a victim. You are an overcomer. You're a conscious creator. Remember, imagination creates reality. Everything was false at all. Everything was false an idea. Everything was false imagined. And then when you start to bring that kind of message to people, it start to bring healing. The blind start to see. And, and religious people always just think is the physical physically blind it is if the bible is really literal and secular history then the preachers could have gone down by the hospitals and shut down the hospitals shut down the pharmaceutical industries and do all of these things even turn literal water into wine but i'm so grateful that the mystics hid these things from those who think that they are wise but it's only those who will come to the realization that they do not know anything. Those are the ones who definitely find the truth. Because I always say, a, a Rastafarian is a Rastafarian because he know. An Adventist is an Adventist because he know. A Methodist is a Methodist because he know. He's an Anglican because he know. He's a Roman Catholic because he know. That's why they attach themselves to those identities. They know. I Me, mean, I don't know. That's the realization I come to. I don't know. So I learn it every day. The only thing I can say is my experience. So every day of my life, I learn in something new. And that's how life is supposed to be. We're supposed to be open-minded and always be learning. Because after all, we are limitless beings and we are spirit having a human experience. So my brother, my sisters, you know, I can go on and on and on. But I think I would have given you enough and you would have gotten the message that I'm trying to get across to you to let you know that your life must be a purposeful life here a meaningful life here you need to produce everything is within you tap into the source that infinite intelligence that infinite source that is within you and you will find your calling you will find your gift and your gift will open up doors for you it will make room for you it all have to do with your choice 
So with that being said, my brother and my sister, I want to thank you very much for listening to me. I want to say to you, if this is the very first time that you listen to me, what I'm saying, it makes sense and really resonates with you. And you have a subscriber already. I'm definitely encouraging you to subscribe, to like, to comment, uh, to share this video. Also, if you'd like to do one-on-one -on -one with me, you can reach out to me by way of email. I'll send you the terms and the condition, and if they fit your agenda and you can walk along with the terms and condition, we can definitely have a great time together. We can go deeper down the rabbit hole and you'll be able to express yourself and line with me as we speak. Also, if you would like to take my $20 course, it's already uploaded on my page and it's called the Inner Sun Science and Technology to Create Your Reality Consciously. And I give you a bonus course on self-concept. And so when it comes to the inner sun, it is teaching your body inner light that is within you. Just as you see in the outer light of the sun, whatever the sun shines upon, it brings forth bountifully. And so too, if you are in alignment with the sun or you are in alignment with nature, then your life will bring forth bountifully. So there's an inner sun, an inner intelligence, an inner light that is within you that you must get in alignment with. And the Bible speaks of this light as the sun. He says, The Lord thy God is a sun and a shield, and no good thing which he withhold from you. In Psalms 84, 11. And then in Malachi 1, 2, it says also that the sun of righteousness shall arise in you with healing in his wings. There's a light, there's an intelligence, there's a power that is within you that must rise someday within you to bring healing to you and to the rest of humanity. And then you'll find that true righteousness is a realization. Also, if you like to follow me on Instagram, or you like to follow me on TikTok, you can follow me at Black Mad Guru. And you can also follow me on rumba.com at Black Mad Guru. Also, and I'll start uploading videos there, and I'm going to continue to upload videos there also most of the videos i'll be dealing with you know the matrix system and how you need to free yourself over there i'll be that's what i'll be doing over there and rumble also i just want to remind you that if you feel strongly led to support this work that we have a people and the link is always down below so with that being said my brother and my sister i just want to say peace love you all um out